watch Eminem's daughter proves she's his number one stan. Some relationships are simply impossible to erase. Back in May 2020, Colton Underwood and Cassie Randolph announced their breakup after less than two years of dating. Several months later, ABC's former Bachelor would come out as gay during an interview with a Good Morning America's Robin Roberts. Although both parties have since moved on with new significant others, Colton's new docuseries on Netflix titled Coming Out Colton has Bachelor Nation talking about their relationship all over again. And while Cassie has remained silent about the situation, those close to the fashion designer say she doesn't want to relive this chapter of her life. She doesn't love that her name keeps getting brought up, a source close to Cassie exclusively told E! News. She has definitely moved on from that time in her life. She thinks it's inappropriate that Colton has continuously spoken about their relationship but understands it's part of his journey. They went through a lot together and she prefers to not talk about that chapter and to keep moving forward in her life, the source added. She is really happy right now and is in a healthy relationship. Cassie has not spoken to Colton in a very long time and they don't have a friendship. Back in August, Cassie made her relationship with musician Brighton Reinhardt Instagram official. Earlier this month, they enjoyed a romantic getaway too. As for Colton, he was previously spotted enjoying a trip to Hawaii with political strategist Jordan C. Brown and told the New York Times this week that has very in love. Another factor in Cassie's damaged relationship with Colton appears to be his lack of communication. According to a separate source close to Cassie, Colton didn't give his ex a heads up about his Good Morning America interview. As a result, she learned about Colton's sexuality at the same time as the whole world. Another point of contention is the temporary restraining order Cassie was granted against Colton back in September 2020. In court documents previously obtained by E! News, the former Bachelor contestant accused Colton of stalking and harassing her in the summer of 2020. Well, Cassie asked the court to dismiss the temporary order in November of that year, a source close to the star said she hasn't received a private apology. Cassie and her family and those directly affected by the restraining order, those people have not received a private apology from Colton, the second source close to Cassie shared. To not privately apologize for the pain he caused her in her family is disappointing. A separate source close to Colton, however, reminded fans that when the pair was able to reach a private agreement, Cassie and her family specifically asked for Colton to never reach out to Cassie or her family again. After she dropped the restraining order, Colton issued a statement to E! News, saying, I do not believe Cassie did anything wrong in filing for the restraining orders and also believe she acted in good faith. He later issued a public apology on Good Morning America. I would like to say sorry for how things ended. I messed up, he said. I made a lot of bad choices, the former NFL player added, I would just say that I am sorry from the bottom of my heart. With coming out Colton hitting Netflix this week, private matters may soon become public once again. It seems like if Cassie had her way, things would be. As a third source close to Cassie explained, she doesn't want to relive that part of her life over and over again and have it thrust back into the spotlight.